Ladies and gentlemen, now after spending a bit too much money on the gifting event, I finally managed to get myself a 5 star version of Kang. So in today's video, I want to take him up to rank 3 and have a bit of a play about with this champion, because before this year's gifting event, or should I say last year's gifting event now, I never had Kang. He was the only champion that I was missing, so I've never actually played this character. So I'm very curious to see how he's going to perform today and how he feels. Is he just a trophy? champion or maybe you know is there a little bit of hidden spice when it comes to Kang as well so we're gonna start off in a bit of act five and I also um I want to test out a cheese method in variant three as well because I think with his guaranteed stun on the special one we might be able to have a little bit of fun there in uh, variant three so I'm looking forward to that as well uh, but let's start off today I think we're going to act five chapter one and go into the archangel chapter this is the brute force one here I've gone for a full tech team load up uh, in preparation for variant three toward the end of this to see if I can make my silly cheese work uh, but I'm looking forward to it man it should be a good time but Let's start off in a bit of Act 5 just to, to warm up and see if this champion can pull a, um, a bit of weight damage wise. And it seems we have a bit of a connection issue here. Is it going to resolve itself? Okay, fantastic boys. We're on to a winner already. Right, so let's bring in the old uh, five-star Kang. We've just got like a little bit more crit and a little bit more attack by all of the additional synergies uh, with Ultron and Vision here. This is the Brute Force node. So I've seen about 1.4k on the mediums there. Got a few crit nodes as well, man. So that's uh, helping us out a little bit today. Let's dodge that SP1. Bro, I can't wait to throw the special two, man. Oh, Kang has the most awesome special two. I love it. It's got a nice little shock animation as well, but no shock damage. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. And on the special one, you have a guaranteed stun for two and a bit seconds. That's enough for a three combo. Straight into a five combo there. I think being in variant, we can get like a full combo and a bit out of it. Maybe like 12 hits if we're super lucky. But Kang, there is nothing super special about the damage yet. But let's try and execute with a special three here. It might be enough just to get get round arc overload. Oh mate, I love Kang's special three animation. Still one of my favorites. It's a very very old animation, but it's quite nice. A bit savage, and it also has a 12 second heal block there, so you block out the uh, the arc overload healing. But damage wise, man, um, <laughs> that wasn't the best fight. <laughs> But, you know, we got the job done, and I think the special three added on a few more hits. I think it has um, something ridiculous, like 20 hits or something off the animation. So, I know I know it's a fair chunk, man. Let's uh, move on to the old uh, the Quake match up here. So, she's got about, um, uh, what is it, 57,000 hit points here. Smack out the parry. We're dealing a little bit more damage just because she has lower base armor than Iron Man. Here, hopefully we can utilize the... Um, I was going to say utilize the power drain. We might as well fire it off now, man. Get rid of that special one. Can you go in right after that stun? I think if you're really, really quick on the special two... But also, we can use this special one to push Quake to a special two. So we have to try and dodge our special ones, which is a good time. Special two is much easier to deal with. The guaranteed stun, mate. I can always appreciate guaranteed stun on the uh, special one. It was a nice little bit of utility to have. Oh, that's a nice crit there. There we go. Straight in the bin. That, that, that felt good to play. Kang just needs some, um, like any form of damage, really. And a bit more utility. The stun special one is nice. The power drain. Full power drain on special two. Ain't too bad either. Special three, 12 second heal block is quite naff for a special three. But the problem is, aside from the, uh, you know, the, the nice utility on the special one and special two, Kang really does have absolutely nothing. Apart from actually, if we get him awakened, this man has armor. That is a, that's a havoc counter right there. So, you know, maybe next year, boys. Well, we still have a few great gifting crystals to open. The big opening that we're going to probably do at some point this weekend, hopefully. Go for another five combo here. And 
dead of all. I'm, um, what's it? A bit concerned about the author evade, so I think we need to stun him before we can special attack. But I think that's gonna. Oh no, that's gonna be fine. Yeah, cool. I'll look quick enough there. Let's go one, two, three, and straight into a combo there. Trying to make sure we stun him before, trying to fire off a projectile, or else he's just going to evade and wreck us. Bit of a tricky and inconvenient matchup, this one for Kang. There we go. Push a power drain, go straight in. Oh no. It's too quick to block there. Variant 2, actually, we should have plenty of time to go in because the stun's gonna last longer. Right, special 3. Let's wait till we get into Assassin's range because we're almost there just for the uh, attack bonus. Right, so 87 hits. Oh man, Kang is um, <laughs> such a freaking noodle. <laughs> uh, right, let's go for special three. Yeah, lots of hits on that as well. What was that? Was that 22? It's a fair chunk, mate. Fair chunk. But there we go. Daredevil goes down in 100 and something hits. I was debating like before this video, should I use, because I've got a 2015, 2016 tech gem. Like, should I use on Kang, man? And I'm, I'm kind of very glad I didn't now. <laughs> Just because, um, yeah, this champion's damage is not held up at all. And I don't think there's uh, too much we could use him for outside of uh, a fun little rank of a gameplay video today. Let's smash out this Doctor Strange, get to the special two, get that power drain, and we are laughing. Hopefully I can power drain him before he can do anything special attack wise. Right, there we go, full power drain. Let's get straight in if we can. Oh, mate, we're going to dominate this Doctor Strange. There needs to be, like, um... If there was a power lock for, like... How many seconds? <laughs> I know, if there's like a 10 second power lock after that, man, that'd be so good. Freaking love to see that. Wait, can we heavy attack? There we go. Not bad. Not bad. He does have that very swift heavy. Now that we've had our warm up, I wanted to jump into a little bit of variant three polar opposites. Because with a heavy attack and the stun on the special one, I think there's some cool stuff we can maybe try out, man, and see if it works. So we're going to start off with this, uh, this Venom pool on, I believe it's a Chaos node here. Game seems to be a little bit funny at loading today. But there we go, boys. We made it to the node now, <laughs> so that's good. So we've got the uh, the Chaos node here, also 200% power gain as well. Um, so this one might be interesting, or it might be an absolute bloodbath. But I'm hoping he can power lock himself. Just gonna roll for that power lock. Right, we've got it, lads. We've got the power lock. This is where the fun begins. I think I can actually get seven hits off uh, that as well. Oh my goodness. How many times can we press the heavy button? Well, you know, it, it's nice to know that this uh, this cheese tactic, man, 
It works. It's a very mighty heavy attack there, very quick. But there are many champions uh, that have very swift heavy attacks that this tactic can work uh, very well with. I think the problem that we're seeing here again is the damage output. I wasn't quick enough on that one, man, purposely, because I was like, bro, this is going to be way too long. But the damage output, mm, it just uh, isn't there, <laughs> really. Just going to make it an exceptionally long fight. But one thing I want to try to make work as well is the stun lock on the special one. I'll just test it out and see, like, you know, how viable it potentially is. Because I don't think he's got quite enough duration to have infinite, but it might be close, man. It might be close. So let's go against the uh, the Punisher 2099 here. Good fight to uh, potentially stun lock on. You know, he's got freaking counter tactics node. So that's a horrible, horrible node to fight. Also gives us a great opportunity here to test out... Actually, we don't even need to do it, man. I was going to say test out Kang's block proficiency, but let's not worry about it if we don't need to. Yeah, I don't think there's quite enough time for another combo there. Looks like we're just losing a bit of power every time. You know, we gave it a good rally, lads. <laughs> I don't think there's yeah anything we can do there. Oh, no, 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 no. We're still in the game. Let's go, man. 100 hits. Oh, we're going we're gonna to make it to another special one, right? Perfect. And then... Oh, we're still going. How are we still going? <laughs> oh, bro. I should have been dead like... <sighs> 20 hits ago. I think it's going to be just enough for another special one. This is definitely not an all or nothing node, so it's getting incredibly jammy. Oh, no way. Come on, man. We've got to do this. Oh, come on, mate. No way. Come on, lads. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Kang Beyond God tier confirmed best champion in the entire game. Wow. I, I couldn't believe that, man. That was, that was really, really, really jammy. <laughs> Well, um, the rest of the path uh, probably ain't gonna ain't gonna turn out like that, man. And also, there's just a counter tactics, Nick Fury, which we can't even stun in the last phase anyway. So Kang, um, you know, he's not really useful in the current meta of the game. We've got a few quirky little um things he can do here and there. Um, but overall, man, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the five-star version of Kang. Were you impressed by this crazy Beyond God tier gameplay or disappointed that Kang is just, in reality, a little bit rubbish? <laughs> but let me know your thoughts. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed today's five-star Kang rank up and gameplay video. And if you did, if you do me a massive favor and smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciate it. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.